Well, I can safely say that was a hard one today. <laughs> Let me tell you. So, it says, step 55, there's another way to associate input elements text with the element itself. You can nest the text element within a label element and add a for attribute with the same value as input elements ID attribute. Associate the text loving with the checkbox by only nesting the text loving in a label element and place it to the right side of the checkbox input element. Like so. So what you do is, you've got input ID equals loving, type equals checkbox, and I think it says loving a kind of mind, then you put a less than sign, label a for equals inverted commas and put the, the words loving in between it, put a greater than sign, then loving and then a label. Now that should be you. The only reason I worked it out is because I went to W3 schools and it says label for HTML equals HTML label in a BR break line. But no, I didn't take all that. I just used the label for equals, whatever it equals, and then point to whatever it equals. So in this case, in my case, sorry, it's um, label for equals loving, point to loving. And that's exactly what it says. Loving. Congratulations, your code passes. Submit your chan. Your code to change, continue. Right, so step 50, add the name attribute with a value personality to the checkbox input element. While you won't notice it in the browser, doing this makes it easier for a server to process your web form, especially where there are multiple checkboxes. So add a name attribute with the value personality. Hmm, okay. To the checkbox, to checkbox input element. So I think what we do is, let's see, wait a minute. Well, looking at because I'm not sure how he. What did I do the last time? Ah, so input ID type equals radio, name equals blah blah blah, and you point to the end door, so it's within. Right, okay, so I think I've got it, so I need to put it in there. So name equals inverted commas. Personality. At least I think that's what you do. Oh, you don't use that or anything. Personality. The checkbox should have a name attribute with the value personality. You've either admitted the value or have a type or remember the attribute's value should be surrounded with quotation marks. Like right, this. Hmm. Ah, of course. Silly me. Oh no, it's no. It's, I was going to say I've missed equals, but I've no. It's name equals personality. Right, input ID equals loving, type equals checkbox, and name equals personality. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't he put it in there maybe? Name equals personality. How did I spell it? I'm maybe that was this. Main space out. The checkbox input element should have a name attribute, which I'm trying to get, with the value personality. Didn't have it. Well, hey! Yabba dabba do. Done it. Congratulations, your code passes to your code to continue. And don't ask me what I did today. Input ID equals loving, name equals personality, and type equals checkbox, and a label for equals loving, and label. Submit and go to the next challenge. I don't know.